cleaning. So I figured it out. I had to put the extender on this one in order to get it into my helmet. So to do this, you need to remove the chin guard, which is located here. All right, just pluck it out. Since this was my old helmet, which I was using for the old model, it would just snap in just like that. Okay. So this is exactly the same. So great, the mounts are the same, so it's easy for me. I extended it a bit. See the one extended over here already. Now all I need to do is push it here and clamp it in. Now there's a small kind of plastic kind of thing over here, kind of lock mechanism. So you just push it in so it won't come out. So now this is installed. According to the manual, you need to press these two to pull out the cartridge to put the water in and snap it back in place. Now the only thing left to install is the Bluetooth kit which I really don't need right now but is easy to install because the USB port is right here so I believe you can just connect it over here it fits here and the wiring goes inside and plus I believe they have an application for connecting it to the system but uh, as far as this goes I'm gonna try it on I'm gonna turn it on first which I'm having difficulty I got this running now Okay, this is the first power, I mean the first level, so I'm going to wear this up, wear this. Okay. Now, I don't know how much it will weigh with the water inside, but uh, I can feel the air coming right to my face because of the blue kind of vents they have over here. I'll press it one more time, it gets faster, and even faster. Now when I close this, I can really feel the air coming to my face, so in summertime I guess it will do very good. It's better than the last one, but I do still feel it has, still has a hum, so does this, but it's much more better than the prototype. And it's off now. So yeah, we have to try it out on the roads and uh, during summer. And then you'll see exactly how good it is, and uh, I'll let you know. Thanks a lot again. Bye-bye.